Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to graph a straight line using just the y-intercept and the slope. Take a look at this equation. I'm given a function. Remember the f of x is the same thing as y. And it just so happens that this function is written in the form of the slope-intercept equation. That means the y-intercept is negative 8 and the slope is 3 fifths. So I could easily put slope is 3 fifths and y-intercept is that second number behind the x. It is negative 8. Now here's the cool part. To graph this, simply graph the negative 8 and I'll put a dot right there on the y-axis at negative 8. So step 1 is to plot the y-intercept simply click on the screen if you're doing this online and place a point at negative 8 which is the y-intercept. Then step 2 is to change your slope into a fraction. My slope is already a fraction. The top number will be either positive or negative. If it's positive then you will move up that many units. So I'm going to move up three units the bottom number is always positive and that tells me to move to the right. So I will now count up three units and then I will go over right five units. Watch this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And I will put a second point. That second point creates my line and the line is my final answer. Now here's another example. This equation is not written in slope-intercept form. So the first thing I need to do is to write it in the y equals mx plus b form. So I take the original equation and I will solve for y. So I'm going to move that negative 3 over by adding 3. I now have 5x plus y equals 3. To get y by itself, I can subtract 5x. So here's what I have. y equals negative 5x, because I subtracted it, and a positive 3. This is the equation I want to look at. I notice that 3 is my y-intercept. That's what I must graph first. So go to positive 3 on the y-axis and put a point. Then my slope is negative 5, but that's not written as a fraction. So simply rewrite negative 5 as negative 5 over 1. Now the fact that that's negative 5 on top means I will count down 5 units, and then I will count over to the right 1 unit. Watch me demonstrate. Count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units then count over to the right one unit and you place your second point right there. After going down five units from the y-intercept and then over to the right one unit. That will dictate where the line is drawn and that is the graph of the line for the given equation.